Why don't some people know the language of the society they live in? This is perhaps because they live in their own shell and they don't intermingle with the people outside. What do you think of children learning a foreign language? I think children should learn a foreign language. It's very easy for children to learn a new language as they are very receptive and they are not hesitant about making mistakes. They also have a benefit of not knowing any other language too well. To make comparisons and assumptions about the difficulty of language learning. In this era of globalization, knowledge of a foreign language is very beneficial for a better career and a bright future. It opens more avenues for students for higher education and good jobs. Why are some language classes boring? Some language classes are boring because of the teaching method used there. If there are no interactive or fun activities involved in teaching a language and only plain textbook teaching methods are followed, students become bored easily. Incorporating technology in classrooms keeps the students interested in learning and they learn it easily. For example, there should be an audio and visual means used. Some students hate to learn foreign languages. What can teachers do to develop their interest? Some students hate to learn a foreign language mainly due to the lack of interest and uninteresting teaching methods used. Teachers play an important role in developing students' interest. Interactive and fun activities should be included to keep the children involved and interested in learning. If students are taught only from textbooks and there is a pressure of examination, it leads to students becoming bored or disliking language classes. Teachers should also use context and examples to which the students can relate in their day-to-day -day life. If they understand how the language can help and benefit them, students would be motivated to learn that language. Some people travel for learning a foreign language. What do you think? I think that traveling is a very good way to learn a new foreign language. It is true that the more we use a language, the better we get at it. So if one has to travel to a country or region where that language is used, we will interact more with the local people in the language and learn its nuances better. Also, language is related to the culture. If we travel, we learn more about the culture and can learn the language better. What's the best way to learn a foreign language? I think the best way to learn a foreign language in a classroom environment is from a teacher who has in-depth knowledge of that language. The teacher should preferably be a native speaker of that language or should have a high proficiency level in that language. It's very important to incorporate technology and audio visual methods to teach that language. Also traveling to that country, region where the language is spoken is also a good way to learn it. These days learning a language through videos and online classes has become very popular as the students get a chance to interact with the teachers and also with native speakers of that language through the internet. There are many apps also available which can be downloaded on smartphones which help learning a foreign language in a fun and interactive way. For example, the Duolingo app. Why can some people learn languages fast while others learn it slowly? Some people learn languages faster than some others because of the teaching methods used to teach them. Interacting more with the native speakers also helps in learning a language better and faster. Also, there may be 
motivating factor, like the job that requires them to learn that language, which makes people learn a language faster than others who don't have any motivation behind learning a language. Does one's age affect their language learning? Yes, I think age affects language learning. I think the learning curve goes down with the increase in age. Also, at an older age, people try to compare the new language they are learning with the language that they already know. That may cause a hindrance in the learning of language. People also become more hesitant about making mistakes and feel more embarrassed at a later age as compared to young learners. Now the next set of questions is related to birds. How do you feel about birds? Or why do you feel that way? I feel that birds are very special. They are beautiful creations of God. They add diversity to the nature. How do Indian people feel about birds? India is a diverse country. Everyone has different feelings. Some love birds and they also keep birds as their pets. Others just admire them flying in the sky. Some even eat birds. Are there many birds near your home? Yes, there are many birds near my home. I can see pigeons, crows, sparrows and even the cuckoo bird occasionally. Have you seen many different kinds of birds near your home? Yes, I have seen many different birds around my home. Apart from the birds I see routinely around my house, I have seen peacocks in my neighboring village. I have also seen some rare birds in a zoo. There were different varieties of parrots and the ostrich and emu over there. Do any birds have any particular significance in India? For example, does India have a national bird? Yes, peacock is our national bird. It is a beautiful bird. The male looks very beautiful with its plumes spread out. Do you think birds should be protected? And why or why not? How can they be protected? Yes, definitely, they are beautiful creations of nature. They add diversity to our environment. Apart from that, they are best pollinators. Also, birds eat insects. That is why crops are protected. They are part of our ecological chain. We all know that if any link of the ecological chain is not there, then the whole ecology can collapse. Birds can be protected by having strict laws against catching or selling birds. The NGOs like SPCA, which means Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and PFA, which means People for Animals, can also help in this matter. Do Indian people like raising birds or keeping them as pets? Yes, they do. Some people keep birds as their pets. Mostly, they keep colorful parrots and pigeons as pets. Have you ever raised or kept a pet bird? No, I have never raised a pet bird. There's a lot of work involved, and I don't think that I can raise it properly. Now, the next set of questions is related to boats. Do you often travel by boat? No, I don't often travel by boat. I don't live in the coastal area. And where I live, people do not travel by boat. Boating is done only in places with water such as in lakes and also any other water body like the sea. Have you ever been on a boat while you were on holidays or on a vacation? No, I have never traveled to a coastal area for holidays. I just never had a chance till now. Or you can say, no, I have never been to a boat tour, but yes, I did boating once 
when I went to Chandigarh to visit my relatives, they took me to the Sukhna Lake and we did boating there. Would you like to go on a boat tour? Why or why not? Yes, I would definitely like to go on a boat tour. I think it would be great fun. My relatives live in the USA and many people there have their own boats. They also told me that there is a cruise to Alaska one day. If given a chance, I would love to travel on that cruise. Where in your country do people most often use boats or travel by boats? India has a long coastline. The coastline is more than 7,000 kilometers. People living near the coastal areas use boats very often. Do many people in your country own their own boat? I think maybe the people living near the shores have their own boats, but people living offshore do not have their own boats at all. Would you like to buy a boat? No, I would not like to buy a boat. I think it would be a waste of money since there's no place for boating where I live. If you had your own boat, what would you do with it? If I had my own boat, I would buy a house near a beach and do some boating every day. Now the next set of questions is related to relatives. Do you often visit your relatives? No, I don't often visit my relatives. I visit them once or twice in six months. What do you do when you visit them? Whenever we visit relatives, we have lots of fun. We visit some historical places, eat out, watch movies and do lots of other activities. Do you prefer to spend time with your relatives or with your friends? I prefer to spend time with my friends. I like their company very much. We have lots of fun together. Who is more important to you? Your relatives or your family or your friends? Both are equally important for me, but my friends are more important than my relatives. Of course, my immediate family is more important than my friends. Now the next set of questions is related to shopping. Do you like shopping? Why or why not? Yes, I can say that I'm a shopaholic. Whenever I come to know about the latest trends or fashions going on, I feel like buying so many things. But since I'm not earning yet, and so my pocket doesn't allow me to buy new things every day. What do you think is most difficult or unpleasant part about shopping? The most difficult part about shopping for me is selecting things. The markets today are flooded with choices. I find it very confusing. I also don't like to go to the shops which are not fixed price shops. I hate bargaining. Is there anything you don't like or dislike about shopping? I don't like bargaining. That is the reason I generally prefer to go to fixed price shops. Do you prefer shopping alone or with others? I don't like to shop alone. The market is flooded with choices and I find it very confusing to select things on my own. So generally I prefer taking one of my family members or friends along with me whenever I go shopping. Who do you usually go shopping with? I usually go shopping with my mother. Sometimes I go with my friends. Do you prefer to go shopping with family members or with friends? It depends on what I have to buy. If I have to buy costly things then I like to go with my family but for stationary items and other small things I go with my friends. What do you usually buy when you go shopping? I buy clothes, shoes, cosmetics, stationary items and many other such things when I go shopping. Sometimes I go with my mother to the grocery 
and buy vegetables there.